Hi everyone. My name is Kirk Rabbit. In this video, Cinepon cooks simmered hijiki and tofu salad with the simmered hijiki. You'll use dried hijiki. So, the first thing you need to do is soak hijiki in water. She put only 4 grams of dried hijiki. Hijiki will swell with water, so use a medium-sized bowl. Now she's cutting burdock root thinly, rolling it with her left hand to change the angle. By the way, you don't need to peel burdock root. Just wash it with a brush. Soak the cut burdock in vinegar water immediately. In a medium bowl of water, add one teaspoon of vinegar. This is said to keep the burdock white. Only a few minutes is enough. You can drain the water. These are pre-cooked beans. The left is steamed soybeans. The right is a boiled bean mix. She decided to use soybeans today. Then cut the carrot into small pieces. Simmer time would be short, so you don't want them large. This one is lotus root. It's also pre-cooked. She's cutting half-size fried tofu. It looks like the dried hijiki has been rehydrated. She is pouring tap water into the bowl and draining the water. This is to remove dust and pebbles. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it now. Your subscription means the world to us. Thank you. Then drain the water well. Hijiki is ready to cook. She already put carrot, burdock, lotus root and beans in a frying pan. Add some cooking oil. Well, she needed to fry only carrot and burdock root first. Other ingredients are pre-cooked. Then put the hijiki in. Add two teaspoons of sugar. Add one tablespoon of mirin. You always add sweet flavors first. Stir a bit. Add one tablespoon of soy sauce. This little pack is a powdered dashi. She added the whole pack, five grams. Then poured about 100 cubic centimeters of water. Stir a bit.
she added fried tofu before the liquid is gone. Why put it later this time? Fried tofu absorbs liquid. If it was added earlier, it would absorb mostly water. Tilting the frying pan to check how much soup is left. She decided to heat a little bit longer. Can you see the soup? You don't want to dry it completely. Now you can turn off the heat. You add some sesame seeds in the end. Simmered hijiki is done. This time, she'll mix it with tofu to make a salad. This one is firm tofu. Firm tofu is pressed silken tofu. The less water there is, the easier it is to absorb the soup. Open the package. She'll use half of it, about 200 grams. Put it in a heat-resistant container. Heat it in the microwave at 600 watt for 2 minutes. You see more water got out? This is to heat and drain at the same time. When you press with a spatula, more water comes out. Traditionally, you wrap it in a cloth and squeeze out the water. But that would mean one more load of laundry. So, she just uses a spatula to release the water. Don't worry about breaking the tofu. You will break it anyway. Again, less water is better. Now she transfers half of the simmered hijiki to the bowl. Mix it thoroughly. Now it's ready to serve. She will store the rest of the simmered hijiki for tomorrow. It's good for a few days in the refrigerator. If you cook with less sugar, it won't last that long. It'll be her lunch tomorrow. Once you unpack tofu, it doesn't last long. You should eat it in a day or two. Thanks for watching.